Oh my god, god. Hi guys and welcome back to another review video. Um, so apart from opening this, I have no clue who this is from. I have got a few things to say because um, I have got asked to, to one particular question a lot. So I, I want to give my opinion on this and uh, be done with it. So let me just open this and we'll see who it's from. Make sure I'm not cutting into anything. I think I know. It might be model ones. I haven't had anything off them for a while now. Oh, what is this, may I ask? Gel, well, I nearly got it. Gel nail polish. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my goodness. All in one salon kit. Oh, I've got to open this first. Oh, good grief. Ready? So you can see it with me. Oh, wow. Oh. What are them? Oh my god, solid painting gel. Oh my god, we've got an underneath as well. Holy shit. Oh my god, I wasn't ex Wow, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what's in this one. So we have some more gel polish. Oh, look at them. They look awesome. Wow. And then let's get all these out. And then we can have a look. Wow, look loud. Oh my god, god. Okay, so I'll first start off with this because they, their mini LED lamps are so good. I have about three of them now. <laughs> this will be the fourth. And it's another pink one. Um... Okay, so as far as I can see, there's no lead, which is very unusual. Unless it's in with this little lot, you obviously need a lead to put into there. Which I have got, but that's not the point. One should be in this box to use the lamp. So with this, these, these are to push your cuticles back. Let me bring you down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Push your cute. Oh, that's actually a good one. All right, push your cuticles back. Oh, I say, that is a good one. And then this is to scrape away whatever crap comes off from around your cuticles. This is a, another fluffy brush to get the dust off. We have a file, which is a 100-180 grit file. Love that. So these are removal dedicated. Remove UV gel easily, environmental friendly and safe. Tweezers, but the tweezers, they are tweezers. So these are rhinestones. Wow, look at all these striping tapes, good grief. Oh my God. We've got gold, silver, purple, brown, white, black, red, blue, green, and pink. Oh my goodness. So this is a gel brush, a number six. And it's a hideaway as well, so you just, that's what hideaway is. You pop it out because it hides away in the lid. And this mum loves these. I can't quite get my head around them. You're supposed to use them to get uh, stuff from around. Okay, oh, all right then. But yeah, my mum loves these. Oh, look at that. Well, I didn't learn something new every day. All right, so these, to get rid of the tacky layer, Probably for the poly gel. Okay, that's good to have in. Right, now we don't do these. So these are poly gels. If nobody's ever ever seen poly gel, where have you been? Like under a rock. But poly gel is brilliant, especially if you're new and you and you you're not quite confident enough for gel or acrylic. And this is both of them put together, but the, the, this will not cure until you put it under the UV lamp. So you can mess about with it as much as you want. They all come with them on, but I will test these out. So there is uh, pink, clear and white. So we have a base coat and a top coat. And as I say, these I have used before, if I can get them out. So this one is Oscar's skirt. And if you haven't seen the video where I've used these before, okay, they're all got them on. Um, I haven't had this one before though. 
This one's called Crystal Lake. This one looks gorgeous. If it's anything like the top, it looks so nice. So I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to get some... Oh, I forgot about these. These are the dual forms. I'm going to do the poly gel in these dual forms. Then I'm going to make some nails for the gel polish, which is like on the floor. So I'm not wasting any of my nails. So easy to do. If you're running out of nails, just make your own. It's so easy. All right, so in the uh, booklet that came, it's actually a really good booklet. It literally goes through step by step what to do. So you've got your prep steps there, and then the nail extension, the gel application, which is basically the poly gel. It goes from one to 12 and explains to you what to do. That is really good. And then on the one below, it's got color application. And then over it's got the nail art application of everything that's in the kit. So you've got the striping tape, the, the, the rhinestones, the gel removal. And then at the bottom here, it's got some recommended nail art designs. That's gorgeous, by the way. Look at that one. Wow. So yeah, I'm uh, really impressed. This is definitely one of the better booklets that's ever come with any kit I've ever had. So thumbs up for that one. See, this is the model ones. I've had this for a long time. So this is the wire you want. It literally just goes into like this side of your plug. You chuck like I use this to charge my phone, and then this goes in here. But yeah, I've never had a, 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 a UV lamp like this that hasn't come with the plug. But never mind. You know, they're, they're easy enough to find. These are. So while we're here, might as well see if it works properly. So you get the legs out. Good grief, them are hard. Oh, there we go. Blimey, that took some uh, doing. So the legs come out like that, then you put it there so it stands up, and then the, the switch is on the back, and then it works. Cool. So that's a lamp done. Right, so I'm going to start off with the poly gels. I have got some of the dual forms out. Just an FYI, I've got Neo's gel residue wipe off solution in this, and then I'm going to use this to apply it and then you just put turn it around like that and then there's your brush so i'm just going to put it straight in the poppet oh look at that nice oh that's so soft oh my god oh my goodness that is so soft guys oh that is lovely oh my goodness me that is so nice to use some um, poly gel you can get which is really tough to use but it all depends on the, the climate of the weather as well if it's cold it's going to be harder to get out of the tube if it's warm it's going to be easier and that's it that is it oh my god right I'm going to cure it I'm hoping that this cures it under this lamp for it should have a 60 second timer um but we'll see right i'm going to cure this now i'm not going to pop that out just yet i'm going to do the the other two and then we'll pop them out Right, that's just like really popped and I'm struggling to get some out. I don't think the the clear has got off as much in as the other two. All right, so the clear has just come out and this one is tacky. The others aren't, but this one's tacky for some reason. So I'm going to get one of the disposable wipes. Let's get rid of the tacky layer because there should be one underneath as well, but I'll do that when it's out. Oh, they are very adequately moist. <laughs> no, not that one, Nick. There we go. Let's snap them out. Right, pink one. Oh, that's a really pretty color, guys. Look at that pink! Oh my life, that is so pretty. 
Obviously I didn't pour as much at the bottom so you can see through it but if you pour enough on it's totally opaque, you can't see through it so yeah definitely liking that pink. The, this white is white. If I could get it out there is. Hey look at that white, oh my god that is white. <gasps> Loving that, oh my god. Okay clear, clear is clear. I'm um, expecting bubbles because everybody's clear as bubbles when you're just using clear and nothing else. Right, let's go on to the pots. Now, as I said, I have got one of these uh, Oscar skirt, so I'm not going to open this one because, you know, it's just silly too. But look at that. That is what Oscar skirt looks like. It is phenomenally gorgeous. So same as before, I'm just going to pick some up with this and then put it in here. Right, so I'm going to leave it at that and then cure that for 60 seconds. So the next one is Crystal Lake and I haven't used this one before but oh my god it is gorgeous. Okay, oh look at that guys, oh my goodness. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's, oh my God, break into this one. I don't know how good this is going to be because I didn't put a lot on. Okay, finally got it out. Oh, just look at that. I, mean, I know I've used it before, but it just, it's breathtaking. Every time I do it, oh. Goodness me. And then let's do this one. Oh my god, Luke. Oh. Just, I can't. They are absolutely gorgeous, guy. Oh my. I can't. Alright, so now are the solid painting nail gel. So this is number four. I've never used these before, and they're literally solid. Like, solid so this should be interesting to use but this one is like a solid pink number 22 is off red brownie color oh god look 24 I'm presuming this one's a glitter now I, these all came with the lids as well so I've taken them off oh no oh wow oh Model ones, Jesus. Okay, number 32, creamy color. A, a very, 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 very light pink, cream ish, pink ish color. 33, I'm presuming is brown. Yeah. But like the, the solid. I'm quite intrigued to see how these go on. And then number 34 is purple, like a, a lilac colour. Oh goodness, goodness me. First of all, what I'm going to do is with these, I'm going to make some nails in clear acrylic and then I'll be back. All right, so I've done six of them. So I've just put them on the end of some nail pop things with some blue tack. So I'm going to go through them now. I'm pretty sure you just pick them up. I'm using a another brush from Neo. It's just a bit stiffer and it can hold more. So I'm just going to pick, pick it up with that brush and then just slide it on as if I'm just using gel. And let's see how these turn out. So while I'm doing these, I, this, is, this is the thing I want to address. I am getting quite a few girls over the last few months asking me how to go about getting PR stuff off companies. At the end of the day, I've been doing YouTube now for 13 years in October. 13 years so the girls who are asking or some of them are just starting out on YouTube and companies want to see an established channel with really good content the reviews are truthful 
And if you do that and get a good following, that, that's when companies will start to find you. You won't need to find them. Now, if you did want to get in touch with a company, all you need to say is, um, I've, this is my YouTube channel, do the link, um, say how many subscribers you've got and just say, I've, you know, if you've had stuff off like Born Pretty, for example, if you've had Born Pretty stuff before, just say, I have bought stuff off your company in the past. I would really be interested in reviewing for your company, if at all possible. It's just a simple note like that or email, should I say, like that and see what how they come back. But more often than not, companies like the bigger companies want, want a channel with quite a few subscribers because obviously you can, they can reach more people if you've got quite a few subbies. I mean, I've even got girls saying to me, can you get in touch with this person and can you get in touch with that person? And no i'm i'm sorry i'm not doing it um i know that maybe sounds harsh but it's it's been hard work getting to where i am now and that's what you have to do too you have to put the hard work in but when you're doing these reviews do not do it for money i never charge a company for review to promote their stuff ever which really i could and they would pay me but I would rather be able to come on here and give you a truthful review without saying, well, I can't really give you a truthful review because the company's paid me to do this for him. And then you don't feel right giving a truthful review. So all it is is hard work, really good content, keep up the content so these companies can see that you are serious about your YouTube channel. But if you want to reach out to a company, reach out to them. What's the worst they can say is no. So yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. At, at the time of seeing one after the other after the other, I could have put that li like a little bit different. Believe me, when I see these, these girls. One girl literally said, okay, that's enough begging. You know what I mean? I, I'm not doing it. If, if you want to review for a company, just get in touch with them but never be afraid of doing a truthful review. If something's bad, it's bad. If something's good, it's brilliant. But um, do not ever tell lies because you will lose a lot of subscribers doing that. You will lose a lot of trust if you do that. So uh, yeah, that is my advice on trying to get on somebody's PR list. Um, hope I haven't offended anybody, but it's just getting a bit much now, one after the other after the other. All right, so they are all of the, these, uh, what do you call it? Solid painting nail gels. I've never tried these before, and you know what? They are so, so easy. The only thing is, when the, when I was finished with one colour and I was wiping it on the, because the, they are gel at the end of the day, uh, wiping it on the kitchen towel, it took so many dips into the gel residue remover because they are so pigmented and quite thick. Uh, but apart from that, loved them. Absolutely loved them. Never seen anything like this before. Highly recommend them. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the gel polishes now. I will show you which ones I'm doing as I go along. But again, I'm going to sculpt, not sculpt, I'm gonna use the dual forms to do myself some nails so I can put the gel on top of them. So I'll do exactly the same, put top coat on, and then we'll come back and see what colors these are like.
All right, so if you didn't know, they were chameleon polishes. So in here, this is boiling hot water. This is freezing cold. It's even though the fridge is that cold. So I'm gonna show you what colors they changed to. So that's what it's like when it's cold. So we'll put it in hot. And it turns gold. How cool is that? That is gorgeous. Oh, look at that change. Good grief. Oh, look at that. Wow. So it would be that colour on your nail bed and this colour on the tip. No. The next one was the pink one. So let's go straight into this. Oh my God, they react so quick. So that turns into a lighter pink. So all together, it would, when you got it, oh, this one isn't reacting as quick. That's what it would look like on your nail. Wow. Them are so pretty. All right, now this color is beautiful. So let's see what your nail bed color would be. It goes white, a white glitter. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. And then on the tip, it would be that beautiful blue. That is pretty. Wow. Oh, look at that glitter. Oh my life. All right, so the next one is the red one. So in the hot water, that's gone white as well. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Just look at that. So that's what it would look like on your nail. Next one is the, now this one did have to have two coats, but if you notice, all of them were so thick and I think it's because, oh, good grief, that changed quick. That changes to a light blue color, which you probably saw anyway in between me um, curing them. Oh, look at that. So your nail bed would be this gorgeous blue and then the tip would be purple. And then the last one, this is gorgeous. This was the thickest polish of them all, but look at the glitter in there, it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's do the color change. So that goes to like a, a pinky color. Oh, look at all that. Oh my goodness, wow. Cool, that changes quick. Blimey. So that's what it would look like on your nail. Minus this bit. But, oh, that is, that reacts so quick. Oh my God. That is quick. All right, that's what it did look like. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I am loving these. Look at this one, cause it's coming back. <laughs> oh my God, I love them. All right guys, well that is the end of this really long review. Um, I've got the, the gel polishes there and the thing, I can't fit them in, in the screen, so they are here. Model ones, you have got yourself some amazing products. I mean, these uh, painting nail gels are so easy to use, loved using them. These are phenomenal. Poly gel, so smooth and so lovely to use. And then these, um, what do you call it? They are chameleon poly, poly, gel polishes are just so reactive. They are so pretty. So I will leave the link to this kit um, as well as the chameleon gel polishes in the description box, guys. I have got a coupon code for you as well, so you might as well use it. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.